Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 49 in Azure Data Factory Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can update Azure Data Factory environment by importing ARM template. So let me explain what I mean. So let's assume you have a data factory called ADF1. And in this data factory, you have some pipelines and you have some data sets and you have some linked services, okay? So you have some resources already created in data factory one. So now you created another data factory called ADF2. This is a plain data factory, but now what you want, this entire data factory environment, you want to get from data factory one. That means the pipelines, the data sets, and the linked service, whatever you have in data factory one, you want to import them into data factory two as well. So generally you will do that uh, when you want to take one environment to another environment, right? So in such kind of scenarios, how to do that using ARM template import option. So there is something called ARM template import option using that you can easily do that. So from data factory one, you need to export the ARM template first. So that means get a ARM template of data ADF one and then this ARM template you need to import into ADF2. So once you do that, then automatically from ADF1, whatever the resources you have, pipelines, data sets, linked services, everything will come into Data Factory 2 as well. So let me practically show you a demo of it. So let's go to browser. This is my Azure portal. And here, let me do one thing. Let me try to create a new Data Factory where I, I will be creating one sample pipeline and also I will be creating a data set and all. So let me create one data factory here. And uh, so I searched for data factory resource type here. Let me select data factory, hit create button to create the data factory. So we need to name it. So let me select Mahir RG is the data factory resource group. And then I'm going to name this data factory, maybe ADF Mahir one. Okay. Uh, let me hit this review plus create button to create this data factory. So let's wait for the validation to run here. So once the validation run, we can hit this create button to create the data factory. We can see our deployment is in progress. Once the deployment completes, we can see our data factory live there. So let's wait for the de deployment to complete here. Deployment was successful. So now let me hit this go to resource button to open my data factory and here I am going to hit this launch studio button to launch this data factory in a new tab actually. So when I, when you see the data factory studio open in a new tab here, right? So let's wait for my data factory studio to load here. And once this data factory loaded here, I will be creating a pipeline and one data set and linker services there. So let me go to this author menu and let me create a new pipeline here and let me, let it be pipeline one. I'm not doing, going to do anything fancy here. I'm using a simple wait activity. So what is wait activity? How to create pipeline? What is pipeline? Everything I covered in my data factory playlist. So please watch them. So uh, I created one pipeline. Now let me create one data set as well for our understanding. So I want to create a data set which is pointing to a file in a Gen2 storage, maybe to a CSV file. So I selected delimited text format type, continue. And uh, let me name this maybe like source data, some name I'm giving, okay, source data set. And uh, let me create a new linker service. So I'm creating a linker service also for my storage here. So I will be selecting account type authentication from my subscription. So ADLS Mahir, this storage I'm taking, it is loading the key automatically here. Once the key loads, you can see the create button will get enabled here. So you can see create button is get enabled. Let me hit this create button to create this linked service. So I created totally three resources here. One is pipeline, another one is this data set and another one is this linked service. So let me complete this data set creation here. So let me select some file here from sample container. There is a data folder inside that there is a employees onecsv file. I'm just selecting that data first row header. Let me, hit, let me hit this okay button. So let's not worry what file we are pointing here. Just focus that we created one pipeline, we created one data set and we created one linked service as well here. If you want to make sense of it, go to this manage menu 
under linked services you can see one linked service as well so everything is good let me hit this publish button to publish these changes to data factory adf mahir one okay so let's wait for the publish to complete once the publish complete i am going to create a another data factory and then i am going to show you practically how to take all these pipelines and data sets and linked services from ADF Mahir 1 to ADF Mahir 2. I will practically demo that. So you can see here publish completed successfully. Let's go back to our Azure portal here and in the Azure portal, let me try to create a new resource again and let me name it like let me search for data factory resource type and here once the templates load select ADF that means data factory template hit this create button to create this data factory uh, maybe this is also pointing to same resource group and this data factory name is ADF Mahir 2 and let me hit this review plus create it will run a validation once the validation successful we can hit this create button here to create this data factory so let me hit this create button now you can see our deployment is initiated that means now ADF is getting created behind the scenes in the Azure. Okay, so let's wait for the deployment process to complete here. We can see data factory created successfully. Now let me hit this go to resource. This time I am opening data factory ADF Mahir 2. Let me hit this launch studio to open this Mahir 2 data factory. So in this tab, I have ADF Mahir 1, which has one linked service, one pipeline and one data set here as you are seeing here and now in this tab i have another data factory called adf mahir 2 it's a plain data factory nothing is there in this data factory let me practically show you that so if i go to author menu you can see everything is zero no data set no pipeline when you go to this uh, linker services also you can see there are no linker services okay so now let's assume this Mahir 2 data factory is a different environment. This Mahir 1 data factory is a different environment. Now, from this data factory, from this Mahir 1 data factory, I want to take all these implementations, these resources into my Mahir 2 data factory. That means moving the resources of data factory from one environment to another environment or from one ADF to another ADF. If you want to do that, how to do that using a ARM template export and import option that's what we are going to discuss so firstly you have to go to your data factory where you have your resources that means ADF Mahir 1 and here go to this management menu and navigate to ARM template and here hit this export ARM template so it will export your data factory as an ARM template so let me hit this export ARM template link here you can see exported the ARM template and you can see it downloaded here so let me go to downloads to see this uh, zip file there. So this zip file is nothing but like a exported data factory. So let me right click on this zip file and let me extract this zip file with the same name ARM template. So let's wait for to extraction to complete and uh, let's open that folder. You can see right now I'm under ARM template folder. You can see there are uh, multiple JSON files, parameter, data factory, and some other folders as well okay let's not worry all this this is a main uh, arm template and this json file will actually contain parameters actually so we no need to worry that so this is the main json of arm template which contains everything related to your mahir1 data factory so using this arm template i want to take everything that pipeline that data set and include service let me show you how to do that so let's go to mahir2 data factory management hub navigate to arm template and here import an arm template option is there right import an azure portal hit this once you hit this it will open a new tab in which you can actually import any arm template to create a resource actually to take the uh, elements of that resource into different a resource that means from mahir1 to mahir2 so what you do here under custom deployment click this build your own template in editor so once you hit that it will give you a plain editor with some uh, concept uh, with some predefined data here or predefined json here let's not worry that hit this load file and what i am going to do right just now i downloaded one arm template right so this one 
so from that that means i exported arm template from mahir one right so i am taking that arm template json and uh, you need to select only that main arm template json file and hit this open button it is going to load everything the entire json of your mahir one arm template so that means indirectly i am uploading the entire arm template of mahir one here and i am hitting save here and here once you hit a save here you need to select so my mahir2 data factory under this resource right resource group right so select that and what is your data factory name mahir2 right actually so that's what you have to select here so once you select this what will happen right all the changes from the mahir1 data factory will move to mahir2 data factory actually so that's why we need to edit this information and you can see in my data factory if you observe i created a linked service here right and this linked service uses the account key right so that, that is the reason in my mahir2 data factory to have that linked service i need to provide that account key information you can see that is what it is asking give me account key information for this storage account so let me do one thing let me go to that storage account ADLS Mahir and let me take that account key here under access keys I will be having my account key actually so when, when you navigate under access keys hit this show and hit this copy to clipboard go back to your custom deployment paste your key here and that's it simply hit this review plus create button it will validate and see it, it identified there are three resources that means one is pipeline one is data set one is linker service so these three resources it is identified now it's going to deploy into mahir2 data factory so let me hit this you can see the everything details here let me hit this create button to create this deployment or to push this deployment to mahir2 data factory you can see my deployment is uh, submitted here so we need to wait a few seconds or few minutes to complete this deployment once the deployment completes we can clearly see that in our mahir2 data factory that pipeline data set linked service came so let me hit this deployment completed let me go to that resource group and this time let me open this mahir2 data factory and let me hit this launch studio so once mahir2 data factory launched here you can clearly see the pipeline data set and linked service so let's wait for the browser to load here okay so now let me navigate to author menu see i can see my pipeline one if i open my pipeline one i have the wait activity and if i navigate to mahir one data factory if i go to author you can see i am under mahir one data factory so that is what the pipeline i had right the same thing now not only that you can see i have my data set as well and it is pointing to employees one only and if i go to management menu i should see my linked service as well so this is how from one data factory to another data factory we can push the resources or elements of the data factory from any one environment to another using this ERM template import option i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much